Good morning, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing great. All right, so today we are going to be doing your guys' daily reading. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do end up enjoying or resonating with any of these messages, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel, and I really do appreciate it. All right, let's start off with Taurus, all right? So Taurus, how you guys doing today? Are you guys doing good? I hope you guys are doing good. Let's see how you guys are doing today. Oop. All right, so you got the Ace of Cups, which is pretty good. The Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, not Ten of Pentacles. You might wish it was the Ten of Pentacles, but... <laughs> and then you have a Seven of Swords. What's going on, Taurus? Taurus, you have the Ace of Cups here, which tells me something really... You're doing something that's very passionate or, like, there's going to be a passionate offer being brought to you today, or you're going to be thinking about giving an offer of passion to somebody, but it may burden you. And this person may be taking from you without you actually realizing it. So Taurus, Please be careful, whoever, you know, this may be, it doesn't seem like that they're going to be that good for you, so you may need or may want to rethink if this is a relationship or if this is just an, a business offer. It's a romantic, it's a emotional cup, so that's why I'm saying relationship. But it seems like this person just wants to take from you. They don't actually want to help your situation. In fact, it's just going to make you even more of a... It's just going to make the situation more burdening on you. And why would... Like, it doesn't look like they're helping you in this picture, right? In this picture, it looks like you're holding everything. And they're just sitting... And watching you do this thing. They're taking a picture of you, you know, doing these things. They're not actually helping you in any way. You know, it's like, what do they actually bring to the table, Taurus, that, yeah, you may like this person. You may think, oh, they're attractive and stuff. But honestly, there are probably better offers out there that you could probably give to somebody that's more deserving than this person. This person doesn't really seem like they deserve your love, your kindness, or your attention. All right, so let's see what other cards we have for you guys. All right, all right. So it's Horus. So, you got the lovers in reverse. Yeah, this, this person's no good for you. They're a false twin flame. They're not actually going to benefit you in any way. It seems like with the nine of pentacles in reverse here and the lovers in reverse, it seems like they just like to see you miserable and that they're not really trying to see you happy at all. And you also have the seven of cups here, which means you have a lot of options here. So, you also have an otter spirit here. So, maybe that is your totem animal. Um, I don't exactly know what the otter represents for a totem animal, but you can look that up. Uh, what else is in this picture? Yeah, I mean, you definitely have a lot of options. There's definitely some that, you know, spilt over. 
they like as you can see that cup is like spilled over but you have other cups here that are really good options you know like the first cup you see isn't always the best option right there are other cups here you see that so just kind of like be sure that this is the best option really look around take a step back be like hey is this person really meant for me or is there a better option that i could be going towards and you may not even know that you have other options you may just be tunneling on this one person and be like well no one else is around who else would want to be with me you know it's like well did you ask did you put yourself out there did maybe some people are a bit shy to you know come forward with that kind of information because you know they they're scared that you're going to reject them you know like may even be someone that you're friends with that you're not even thinking of as a romantic partner at this time but they're actually a really good fit for you all right so you have peace so peace is coming out twice although this is in the upright and then that's in reverse so you have a lot of earth energy here you have fire energy you have air energy and you also have water energy so a lot of emotions in this in this card you have a lot of you know money you're definitely looking at your money in this situation i mean your earth signs you know you guys are all about your money you know so you have gratitude here and happiness so yeah really focus on your happiness today because at the end of the day, your happiness is all that matters to us, and without that, we wouldn't even be having this conversation, right? So, focus on your happiness, focus on what's going to make you happy at the end of the day, that's what's going to make you very successful. It doesn't matter what anybody else says, do it makes you happy and you will be extremely successful without a doubt all right so thank you taurus for your time your energy let's move on to virgo 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 what do we got for virgo Virgo, 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 Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Oops. All right, Virgo. How are you guys doing today? Are you guys doing good? I hope you guys are doing good. Either way, let's see what's in store for you guys today. All right, so you have the world card in reverse. So today may not be your best day. You have the nine of pentacles in reverse and you have the ace of wands in reverse. So today you don't feel like taking action and you really are just you may just have like a very bad day today and but it's an ending of a cycle because the world card may be in reverse but it also means the ending of cycles so maybe today is the last day of your misfortune and then tomorrow it's going to be even better than today. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna take this card because I wanted to fly out. I mean, I didn't let it fly out, but 
I saw that it was going to fly out. So you have the Knight of Pentacles here. So somebody or you could be wanting to approach you in a stable way, whether this is a uh, boss figure or somebody that maybe it's not a boss or it could be a boss, someone that's offering you a job that's very stable, very secure. This could also be you thinking about other options. Maybe this job that you were in just wasn't working for you. It wasn't allowing you to really move forward. Whereas this new job, it allows you to make a little bit more money. It makes you more stable. It's more secure. It gets you to that King of Pentacles type situation. But I mean, right now it's just a knight. But soon it may end up being a King of Pentacles. You have the King of Wands in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse so yeah you're definitely not where you want to be when it comes to finances and i think you realize that and i think that's why you may be changing careers pretty soon or if it's not pretty soon it's going to be like sometime you know wait you're gonna think about it at some point in your life and you're gonna be like you know what, yeah, I'm not really satisfied with where I'm at, you know, I, I can be doing a lot better in my current situation, and stuff like that. So let's see, let's see. What is your energy for today? Your energy card's Virgo, you have four of them. You have awareness. So you're definitely aware of the situation at hand. You have attachment. It was in reverse, but I don't really have these ones in reverse. They're more like just energy that's going on. Maybe you're releasing attachment and you're breaking cycles. Like I was saying before, self-acceptance. So really accept that you know, the situation is what it is. It was a karmic cycle. It was out of your control. This had to happen in order for you to move forward in the future and, you know, really be in a more stable situation rather than, you know, a situation that is very bad for you. You know, it isn't going to really work out in your favor. You know, all right. So thank you, Virgo, for your time. I really do appreciate it. Let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, how are you guys doing this morning? All right, all right, okay, okay. Capricorn, Capricorn. If you guys are resonating with these messages, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Anyways, let's see what we got going on for Capricorn today, 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 today. What do we got for Capricorn, Capricorn? One more shuffle, one more shuffle. There you are. Okay. Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, you have the Six of Wands here, which means you're going to have a victory. You have the Hangman in reverse, which means you're going to be enlightened today. Maybe you're going to be finding out some really good news today, Capricorn. Some news that you never thought you were going to hear or just it's been a long time and you were just like, wow, this is, this is it. This is what I've been looking for. This is what has been missing my entire life. <laughs> or maybe it's just a offer that you finally get coming towards you, possibly from a Leo or a fire sign. 
but it's going to allow you to be a lot stronger. It's going to open more opportunities with your uh, crown chakra being opened. And it, and, you know, it makes more sense with the, you know, hanged man in reverse. The hanged man in reverse is enlightenment. It means your crown chakra is open. The infinity sign on the, you know, strength card is opened crown chakra. That's all about your crown chakra. And so you're definitely going to be manifesting during this time. And yeah, so you're definitely going to be enlightened. And I hope whatever that is coming your way is going to be super fulfilling for you because it seems like it's going to be a great idea or huge victory that you've been waiting for for a very long time capricorn all right so let's see what other cards we got you have the ace of cups in reverse so if you were expecting someone to offer a ace of cups to you i don't really see that coming towards you you do have a seven of swords here so somebody maybe trying to take something from you or somebody was trying to like so there's a girl here and then there's also a child so it could be a like a father of your child was trying to take like your child away from you and take you to court or whatever and you're finally getting justice from that situation i don't see any court cards here so maybe this is like outside of court or whatever but you could have like a a dog or a cat or whatever and either or it could be a custody battle or it could just be that you're you know doing something new or you're, maybe you even see this person for who they are and you're just like, wow, I am not the fool anymore. I am not going to be dealing with that person anymore. They are not going to be taken from me. I thought this person was my Ace of Cups. Turns out that they are a Seven of Swords. I am no longer going to be a fool to this person anymore. And you have the Knight of Cups here. So it does seem like there is going to be some sort of love offer, some sort of emotional connection with this Knight of Cups, but it's not the Ace of Cups. So this is going to be a different person, a different person entirely. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, so you have a lot of fish here in this picture. You also have something flying in the background, so you could have like a dragon in like your totem, or you could have a fish in your totem, um, like animal totem. But uh, yeah, I mean that that card just looks really cool. It also looks like a chariot, so you, this is definitely giving like cancer vibes, for sure. Maybe even like Pisces vibes because they have the fish in there. But yeah, cool, awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys are finally overcoming something, and this huge hurdle that. Is going to be enlightened to you is finally going to come to an end which is awesome capricorn so for the signs that i see i see uh gemini leo um cancer pisces scorpio and then you have earth energy here so it could really be any sign that you're dealing with, but you have suffering. So yeah, you've been suffering for a while and it's time for you to let go. Let go of whoever this toxic person is 
this person that's been taking from you and hasn't really been putting in the same energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus because they had very similar cards, but you're, it could also be energy just mer merging or maybe you're just watching all three videos and you're just like, yeah, you know what? I also resonate with this energy as well. It's just earth energy. So it could be that you have Capricorn in your chart. It could be that you have Taurus in your chart, but you're mainly a Capricorn, you know, it, or your partner could be a Capricorn and, you know, it's also resonating with you because it's similar energy. Um, but either way, uh, you'll know what story is yours. You'll know what energy is yours, which energy is your partner's because everybody's perspective is different. But I should be reading your energy, but there are cross watchers that do watch my channel and you know, like cross watchers as in like your partner, your friend, somebody that likes you, you know, they want to get to know you better. So they watch your videos just to see what you got going on like in your life you know stuff like that you know um but yeah and that could be who this knight of cups is and it doesn't have to be a knight it could be a princess it could be a queen you know but it's definitely someone that's stable someone that has their emotions in check for sure all right well, Capricorn, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and it does help my channel a ton. But for that, I will see you guys tomorrow, and have a great day. You rule.